Hi, I'm Olivia Cook, and I'm here with Harper's Bazaar UK to share some life lessons, which should have like an asterisk, like taken with a pinch of salt. The confidence I've learned, it definitely grows over time. As I've gotten older, I've definitely felt more and more confident. So just, you know, if you're in your early 20s, just wait, because it's coming around the corner. Yeah, confidence is a feeling of capability that you can't quite grasp or fake. It just, all of a sudden, you feel like all these things in your life have led you to waking up one day and feeling just stronger than you were previously. That, no, I didn't know that I wanted to be an actor in a, you know, a dream world if I was maybe born to parents who were in the industry or maybe with a bit more of a silver spoon in my mouth that that would be something that would be accessible but I just didn't think that for me that would happen and so when it did I just sort of ran with it thinking that I was going to get found out any second and I think I still have an element of that in me. Yeah looking back I don't think I had any idea that there would be any longevity in it with having success as long as you surround yourself with really good people and you have your solid circle of friends then a lot of that is much easier to to deal with and take in stride the project that was the most life-changing for me was a film that i did when i was 20 called mino and the dying girl and it was just the first time i think that anyone had seen me as like a, a real a real actor it was so joyous it just felt like summer camp for the summer i think i've been most proud of the smaller projects that i've done like the independent films that had a shoestring budget like sound of metal you know you learn a lot from these small independent films because you're running a mile a minute and you you learn what you're capable of, but also where your limitations are and how you can change that. I think in my career, I've always known my worth. And I think even when I was younger, I've always been able to stand up for what I believe in as long as you're kind and you're not a pushover. Because people do take the piss in this industry and you've just got to say no, but with a cheeky smile and just walk off before you can say anything. The one piece of advice I'd give to someone starting out in this industry is as much as you can and as much time as you can, try and create your own work and to try and write as much as possible because you have such a unique perspective that is so singular that something amazing could come from that and that could be also your way into the industry. And then also it makes you feel so good once you've like, written the last line of that script so yeah try try and do that even if even if you're shit everyone's shit at first everyone hates writing everyone hates their own material but show it to a friend and I guarantee there'll be like golden nuggets that come out of that what i've learned about style over the years is to retain a minimalism but also show your eccentricities through your style that age-old saying always take one thing off before you leave the house I think applies because you can go a bit mad with the accessories um, and also just have fun with it like fashion is fun what we wear matters is because it's it's a it's a physical representation of you and showing off your personality through your fashion is supposed to be really joyous and doing that can really elevate your mood the best piece of fashion advice I've ever been given is, if in doubt, just wear all black. You'll always look great, just wear all black. You know, I think sometimes I can get so stressed about trying to pick an outfit for the day. And then if you just put on, you know, a, a black pair of jeans, a black t-shirt and some boots, you'll always look great. The best piece of beauty advice I've been given it's quite age old, but my mum, I think when I'd leave the house when I was a teenager, would always be like, if you're doing an eye, don't do a lip. Um, 
<laughs> so I think that if you you know if you're doing a lip, just do a lip and do a very subtle eye, but also don't do both at the same time because you know I've, I've not got the face that can handle that. My advice there <laughs> would be don't look at yourself in the mirror like that because no one else is looking at you like that either. Just have a, like a healthy distance from the mirror and don't overanalyze. I feel most beautiful. I thought this recently, I, I took <laughs> some pals to go and see Magic Mike, um, which I realized how inappropriate it was because I've seen it twice now and the first time was with my mum and my sister. Um, so definitely shouldn't have gone with them. But we had dinner beforehand with my friends and I think just like being there with your mates that you really cherish and you've all gotten dressed up for each other and you're having a glass of wine and you're just sorting out your life with these people. I think that's when I feel the most beautiful because it's also tied with companionship and confidence as well. My friends would describe me as loyal, impatient, generous, blunt, kind, snappy sometimes, <laughs> and funny. What I've learned about friendship is that it's not a given, that it takes nurturing and it takes time and it takes effort. I've got the same friendship group since I was 12, but even with that, it's you know, you still have to put the time in and still have to make the effort. Even if you live in the same city and you're constantly trying to get together and it takes about six months, do just keep trying because everyone's lives are so busy. But the feeling that you get when you've not seen your best friend in months and you just have a night together, it's so nourishing. What I've learned about love is that it's very similar to every relationship that you have in your life, is that it takes work and that you have to choose that person every single day. Yeah, just really put the time and effort into loving and cherishing someone because just because you have these loving feelings towards them, it doesn't mean that they know that all the time. Love to me is a parachute. It softens the landing of, of particularly hard trials in life. Um, and it's someone who you can be just a, a very raw, um, authentic self with. But also love is when you recognize each other's inner child and you're able to express that, I think. I mean, the best piece of life advice that I've received from another woman is freeze your eggs, which I just did and it's so intense. But I did it and now I've got eggs for if I want them later on in life. And it's a very, it's a privilege to be able to do that because it's really, really expensive. Thank you for watching um, my life lessons with Harper's Bazaar UK.